It's the most detailed weather forecast video you're going to find for Eastern Ohio and Western PA. This is Weather for Weather Geeks Thursday evening edition. It's been a busy 24 hours, and we still have some wintry weather to talk about this evening. Things are going to quiet down, though, in time for the upcoming weekend. I wanted to start out not with our current radar, but I wanted to look backwards because, as expected, we had a pretty good snow squall that moved through the area last night, and most of us slept through this, but some of us... Uh, witnessed some thunder snow thanks to Tyler Berry who sent us a, a series of videos from the Mahoning County area. I think it was in Boardman um, around 2 o'clock in the morning. We had a snow, snow squall warning issued for Mahoning County. We had some lightning and some thunder with that as well. It's not something we get very often around here a snow squall warning or thunder snow. And this was the, the radar at about 1 2 o'clock in the morning. You can see that lightning around the Boardman, Poland, Youngstown areas. Uh, and this uh, did come with one snow squall warning for our viewing area. There was actually a slew of snow squall warnings just off to our west, but only one in our viewing area. And that snow squall and then uh, a pretty big uptick in snow shower activity this morning did lead to a handful of inches of snow uh, accumulation across the northern half of Trumbull County, a lot of the northern half and eastern parts of Mercer County as well. But it was a fairly sharp cutoff off to the south. Uh, once you get close to the Mahoning County line, closer to Interstate 80 and southward, amounts were quite a bit lower with our morning activity in those vicinities, but we are not done with the snow just yet, that is for sure. I'm recording this video at about a quarter after seven, and it's been snowing pretty steadily uh, in parts of Trumbull County, especially over the last couple of hours. So we've probably picked up another inch or two in some parts of Trumbull County since the five o'clock hour, since about sunset this evening. A place like Cortland has probably picked up at least another inch or so, maybe up to two. Vianne has done pretty well. The Warren area, things have gotten a little bit slick. And as I look at the rest of the area, if you've been missing the snow over the last several hours, and a lot of us have, um, you may not be, you know, getting off scot-free for the rest of the evening. It's snowing right now pretty steadily. Austin Town, Youngstown area, Boardman, Poland, Struthers, um, up towards Newton Falls. Uh, we still have some moderate snow in that vicinity as well. And a lot of these places, you know, the sun actually tried to come out for a little while today, and uh, there was a long period where there wasn't much in the way of snow shower activity around midday and afternoon in a lot of our central and southern areas. But again, this activity uh, will you know, continue dropping slowly to the south and probably at least coat the ground, if not give uh, some modest accumulations to parts of our area. And you know, the lake effect machine is probably not gonna shut off completely until tomorrow. So I think there can be at least some flurries around for the bulk of the night tonight. And actually there's gonna be probably a Lake Huron band that uh, you know, impacts a lot of Western PA overnight. And so a fetch off of Lake Huron and over Lake Erie, it'll be kind of aimed like this, mostly east of I-79. And wherever that wiggles, wherever that band of lake effect snow wiggles, uh, there's going to be some pretty hefty additional accumulations. I think the best chance of that will be over towards Erie and Crawford counties in PA, Venango County, just east of Mercer County. Uh, should do pretty well with some lake effect snow tonight. Quick uh, couple of cameras to show you this evening. This is our camera across from Eastwood Mall in Niles. Again, about 7.15 and traffic moving along, but slower than usual. Uh, the main roads that have been treated, you know, can be okay with the snow rates not tremendously high, um, but certainly you do need to use some caution. And this is an ODOT camera, I-80 and State Route 193 near the Mahoning Trumbull County line. And uh, a little hard to see here. This isn't especially well lit right now, but uh, you know, there's definitely some snow on the, on the roads out there, and every every flake can stick with temperatures down in the uh, 20s. Now it's not so cold that road treatment is not effective. Road treatment with temperatures in the 20s is still pretty effective. So anything that is treated uh, will certainly be preferable uh, this evening and overnight. Our high res model here picks up on that Lake Huron band overnight tonight, wiggling and wobbling across northwest PA and a lot of this is going to try to be aimed to the north and east of our TV viewing area but heads up especially in Mercer County uh, you know I wouldn't be surprised if this wiggles for a little while off to the west uh, late tonight first thing tomorrow morning and there could be some bonus accumulations I think it's more likely east of I-79 but it's possible anyway that this model solution uh, it ends up being the right idea in that that uh, one kind of bonus lake effect band gives more accumulation to our far eastern areas. But from here on out, what we can expect in most places is a fresh coating to up to a couple of inches. I think the storm totals uh, that we gave out yesterday are going to be right on the money in our northern and eastern areas. I think they'll be a little bit overdone in our central areas. I, you know, I doubt any place is going to see more than 
more than three inches in, in total um, across our central viewing area. Maybe someone tries to, but that's going to be you know pushing it a little bit. We did pretty well in our southern areas as well. We advertised lower amounts down there. That's certainly come to fruition so far. But even you know with this lake effect sinking southward tonight, even in places like Salem and Hanoverton and Columbiana, might you end up with a, an inch before the night is through? I can't uh, rule that out, certainly at this point. Aside from that, Lake Huron connected lake band to tomorrow morning. Uh, not much more than a couple of flurries then for the bulk of our Friday, especially in our northern areas. The farther south you are, you're probably snow free from start to finish on Friday. Uh, in fact, the sun's going to try to come out from time to time, but it's going to be a cold day. And it will be a cold start to the weekend on Saturday. But this warm front lifts through Sunday morning, and wow, what a nice afternoon coming our way Sunday. We'll get into the into the 50 or the 40s i should say let's not get ahead of ourselves the 40s and uh, we'll have some sunshine and a little bit of a gusty breeze but you know if you do need to do some outdoor decorating or some holiday shopping this weekend the weather will be for the most part just fine and a big night in downtown youngstown friday evening it's the annual tree lighting and holiday parade uh 21 wfmj always a proud sponsor of this several of our on-air personalities take part in this mc the event uh and you'll you'll see Andrew DePaulo out there tomorrow evening. Uh, you'll uh, you'll see many others from our station uh, stop by and say hi to us if you uh, see us out and about uh, Friday evening in Youngstown. And we we'll bundle up. It's going to be cold. Temperatures twenties, wind chills mostly in the teens, but the weather should be benign otherwise. And I mentioned the weekend forecast is an improving one. Thirty two on Saturday and forty five degrees on Sunday. In fact, it'll be warm enough for some rain showers as though we go into. Uh, uh, Sunday night and into Monday as well. Before we leave you this evening, let's uh, check uh, touch base on the longer range. I told you we'd be waiting on a set of modeling today for the winter season. Uh, on the fifth day of every month, we get the European model seasonal data. Uh, this is a, a computer model suite that doesn't just forecast for the next couple of weeks. This goes out months and seasons into the future. We always take this with a big grain of salt, but it is an important thing for us to look at when we're talking about uh, long-range forecasts, and I've been telling you that I'm going to be doing an update to our annual winter forecast, and I think I am going to do that Monday evening here on Weather for Weather Geeks. I, I will probably make some fairly sizable adjustments to the ideas, but am I expecting a harsh winter overall? No, and what I'm going to show you this evening is uh, the European seasonal hot off the press is here for the winter season, temperature anomalies. Now, this map does not show any blue, but this map, this set of modeling has a hard time picking out cool anomalies in the longer range. So anywhere where you see kind of the real pale yellows and, and neutral colors, you know, the model is seeing some cooler air certainly in there for the season. And, you know, this is the current run. This is the run I'm going to show you, uh, the, the uh, previous run from November the 1st. Uh, let's actually move this forward to winter. This was its previous run. You'll notice how much more deep orange there was across the lower 48 states in its previous run for the winter season. So the current run, the one that just came out today, is definitely cooler. And that makes sense to me, given uh, the trends that we've seen in uh, in worldwide you know, happenings in the atmosphere and the oceans over the last couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm going to make our forecast for the winter season cooler. You're going to see how much cooler coming up on Monday. But I do not expect a repeat of some of our harsh winters from 10 years ago, 2013, 2014, and 2014, and 2015. So we'll talk all about that Monday evening. In the meantime, on Friday evening's edition of Weather for Weather Geeks, we'll talk about the weekend some more. We'll talk about the trends, the up and down trends, as we head into next week and a little bit closer to Christmas. Hope to see you then. Have a great rest of your night.